Okay, we're going to do a third problem. So it says a square base box shaped shipping crate is designed to have a volume of 16 cubic feet. The material used to make the base costs twice as much per square foot as the material in the sides and the material used to make the top costs half as much as the material in the sides. What are the dimensions of the crate to minimize the cost? Okay, so I know I have these two um, equations involved. I'll have to figure out the cost of this, but for sure this volume will be this constraint that I have. Okay, and so let's see, Let, let's just draw like a little picture. So I have these sides, right? And it's square base. I know oh, that does not look square, but okay. Let's do a little bit. Okay, okay, so this is x and x, right? And then I'll use, like, let's say h, because that'll be like the height of it, okay? So the top, the top looks like this, x times x, right? The bottom also, x times x. And this, each side, and there's four of them, looks like x times h, right? Okay, so the area of this is x squared, area is x squared. So I'm just thinking like the cost here, let's say I don't, I, I mean the other thing is here, I don't know what the cost is, it just says it gives me the ratios. So let's say the cost of this side is like mm, C. How about that? So then the cost of the bottom is like C dollars per square foot, right? So per area. The cost of the bottom is twice, right? So this is 2C and this is 1 half C. So I want to do like make an equation for overall cost. I really have the cost of the cost of the top plus cost of the bottom plus cost of the sides. Right? So the cost of the top should be one half times whatever the price is, the cost, times the area of the top. Does that make sense? And the cost of the bottom should be two times whatever the cost is times the area of the bottom. And the cost of each side should be just the cost times four times the area of one side, right? So I'm just thinking through this and like these are called kind of word equations again of these four representations in calculus that we use a lot of times in this modeling and especially when you're kind of trying to come up with something like this. It helps to transition maybe step by step from um, from like ideas to words to mathematics. So here I have one half C, the area of the top is X squared, um, two times the cost, the area of the bottom is also X squared, and then four C times the area of one side is X times H, right? So this is the overall cost. Now the problem is here, like all of this would be fine, except I have this X times H and I would really rather have one variable. And I, so far I haven't used this constraint yet, right? Okay, 
So the volume of this box should be, the volume should be x times x times h, right? Length times width times height. Okay, and I know that it's 16, so this is interesting. Let's say, I think maybe I should solve for h as the easiest one. So I'm just looking at this equation down here and thinking I will just have to sub this in right here instead of subbing in for x everywhere. So h is 16 divided by x squared. Okay, so I'm going to plug that in. And really, I'm like, I'm unbothered by all these C's floating around. Like, I don't care. I don't know what they are. If they bother you, you can pick an amount and then check and see. Like, you'll see later on. It does not matter. X times H is 16 over X squared. Okay, so let me simplify this. Um, four C times, oh, 16 times four is 64. So 64 C, oh, it's going to be over X. Okay, hold on. 64 C all over an X. Okay. So this is my model now. Now again, all this is just getting the model. I still have to take the derivative and let's call this cost, right? So I have to take the derivative and find values. Now again, I'll go back up here. If this volume is 16, It's hard, again, I need both x and h to be greater than or equal to zero. The maximum this must be is sort of a little bit harder maybe because it's harder to solve for these. So maybe we should just do this sort of as an open-ended problem. I'll show you how to do that instead of testing all these pieces. So, okay, so the derivative of cost. Um, this should just be C times X. Again, the C, like, I'm thinking of this C as just some number. So like one half times, let's say it's $3 times X squared. The three doesn't, is just a constant multiplier, right? This two comes out front, it'll multiply. I'll just get three X. So that's how I'm thinking of this C. Plus four C times X. And then this is, this, I'm going to do some side work. This is 64cx to the minus 1. That's negative 1 times 64cx to the minus 2 power. And that would be negative 64c over x squared. Okay. Does this look okay? Okay. So now we want to... One, cost is undefined at x equals zero. So x cannot be equal to zero. And then I'm gonna set, I'm gonna find critical values. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna set this equal to zero. And you'll see here, like setting any, I know like C cannot be zero. Right, like C is not zero. That's the cost for the materials. I know no one is saw, is like selling materials for zero dollars. So I can just divide through here by C and make my life simpler. Right, and this would do be the same if you had just assumed cost to be one dollar for the sides or two dollars for the sides per square foot. Oh, this is an X. Ah, oh, I wish y'all were here, but okay. So now I'm going to solve this. I'm going to multiply through by X squared everywhere to get rid of it in this 64 piece. Oh, you know what I'm going to do before that? Look at this. This is a 5X. 
Oh, you know what? I might do 5x minus 64x squared is equal to 0. Um, sure, I'll move this 64 over x squared and multiply everywhere by x squared, so I'll get 5x cubed is equal to 64 x cubed is equal to 64 over 5 and again x should be the cube root of 64 over 5 and again like you might want to check this on like your calculator the cube root of 64 should be 4 so this should be 4 over the cube root of 5, right? Which should be about 2.339. What units are we working with? Is this feet? Okay, feet. Okay, and then I'm going to go back. This is x, so this is the square is 2 point, let's say 3 by 2.3. Um, let's see, what are the dimensions of the crate that minimize? Now the other thing I have to be careful of is, I don't know if I haven't tested this, if this is a minimum or a maximum. And the other ones I was kind of doing that absolute max or min where I'm testing the endpoints and here I don't have endpoints so I'm just going to kind of do a quick little 2.339 and I'll plug in a value to the left of this let's say 1 and 3 and so I'm going to go up and find my derivative and plug in here it is there's my derivative I'm going to plug in 1, and it, again, I'm going to assume cost is positive. So I'm going to get 1 plus 4 that says, that's really, okay, let's just plug this in. So c times 1 plus 4c times 1 on a 64c over 1 squared. I want you all to see this. So this is 5c minus 64c. And so like this minus 64c is going to make this negative. Y'all see that? And then I'm going to plug in a 3. So c times, I'm just going to go back here, 3, 3. And this is going to be 9 3c plus 12c that's 15c minus 64 over 9c Ooh. I don't know but 63 over 9 would be like 7 so that for sure is positive right it certainly it's not bigger th this guy is less than 8 do you see that okay so but this tells me again that I have a minimum and that's good because I'm trying to minimize cost okay so awesome I convinced myself of that now what do I need to do oh find H where is it oh right here 16 over X squared h is 16 over x squared <clears throat> divided by let's maybe do it like this 16 divided by 4 over the cube root of 5 and that's squared right who so i get 16 times and then I'm going to square this and flip it so I get cube root of 25 over 16 is that right so I just get the cube root of 25 as h and let me just see what that is 
h is 2.924 feet. Okay. And then again, depending, like I'm going to do a quick 2.3 times 2.3 times 2.9. And that doesn't, like that will get me sort of close, as I'm rounding, sort of close here so that it convinces me it meets that. So the box should be The, let's say the box base should be 2.339 feet by 2.339 feet. The height should be 2.924 feet. Okay. 